we are training kids and people to be soft in a world that continuously gets harder. And it doesn't, it doesn't correlate. Like that guy talking about the tear gas with the seals. Is that necessary? I don't know. But what is necessary is you have to build a person that can withstand the pressures of whatever they're going to be dealing with in life. And we don't do that. And people not understanding that your biggest enemy is you. My whole book is about you battling yourself. People don't understand it's you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you. You're up 2-0. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy or? Still to be happy about. You're up 2-0. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. Okay. Everybody's great when they're not tired. The champions is when they're tired, that's when the real champions come out. That's when a real dog come out. Because if you go piss like a puppy, stay on the porch and let the big dog see. Let him on the fucking field. Have some heart. I get emotional about this. I'm about to cry because I care about y'all. I became obsessed with being the baddest motherfucker that God ever created. Am I that? I don't care. I believe it. And I was trying to tell him, once you become obsessed with something, obsessed, it's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be all this stuff people say. You got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do. It's not about being a Navy SEAL, people. The best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. Then you get balanced once you become great. And then you help other people become better from you being the best in the world. Now, the only place to go from failure is to win. You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far. It's too scary. But you know something? I got news for you. That's where winning is. 